Okay, everyone. Um, here's the deal. I own an MPC Live, and I have a push to. MPC Live is sweet. I much rather use the push to pads. So here's the deal. Whenever I use my MPC Live kits in the push to, I get a. Uh, keyboard pad not a drum rack pad and then none of the MPC pads play in order it's been so for free and on the cheap I'm going to show you how to do it and hopefully it's real fast I'm just going to do a couple of pads just to show you and then you could continue forward from there all right so let's get started so the first thing is you're going to Grab a drum rack from the very top and just drop it in. Then you're going to go to plugins, grab your MPC, drag it to C1. The MPC program has just pulled up. We're going to select a kit and I'm just going to pick any kit. Hopefully you can hear that. So there's the kit. The next thing is to help give you like a little cheat guide, go to tools, uh, my fault, edit, programs, note mapping. These give you the, the note numbers and note that you need to know for each pad. And we're just gonna do a1 through A4 just for this just continue forward it's going to be super easy using the information here all right so now now that I got that now what I want to do is we have that now we're going to hit the second one I don't know what that does and then we're gonna pick IO so we got that the next thing is we're gonna pick instrument and we're gonna select now before we do that this is C1 is the MPC now you're gonna go to C number one and then you're gonna drag the external instrument from its highest point right here. Boom, done. All right, now that you've done that, what you're gonna do is, again, this is C1, this is C number one. C1, C number one. Now we're gonna use that MPC cheat sheet that I told you about now you may want to take a picture of it with your smartphone so you can remember it. Uh, I did and I'm using it right now as I'm speaking to you to help me cheat. All right. So C1 right here, C1, but here because it's the MPC, it uses actually uh, C number one. So you're going to use your arrow key on your keyboard to go down to C number one when I say number one it's C the number sign and then one so there it is when I hit my keypad on the push I get the bass all right when I go here to do this one and before I do this one I'm gonna hit this little arrow and it's gonna come out and it's gonna show you that I'm creating a second track for this so now that C1 you don't need to touch that now using 
A2 is C number one. So now you're going to go C, and then I'm using the arrow key on my keyboard, and I'm going down. C number one, and that is when I hit this, it's a clap. When I do it on my MPC, it's a clap. So hold on just one second. I just need to change the input output. One moment. All right, so I just need to change the input output to drum rack which is number one, and then choose the MPC 64-bit. And if you notice, it's coming out three and four. You can change those channels as you go through. All right, so now I got, and if you notice, here's the MPC, and I'm clicking it on the MPC. Now I'm doing it on push. So you got it, bam. So now we're gonna create another chain, bam, and another chain, bam. I'm just gonna do four for this video. You just have to take it from there. The easiest thing about the Ableton is this first line is the receive. This is what you're hitting on the push. So C1, C number one, and then here, cause you left off at C1, C1, C number one, you go to D1. It's all in order. Just keep going up one to go forward. Here is the MPC map, note mapping. And that's the one I told you to take a picture of earlier. And as you can see now, we're at F number one. I'm hitting the arrow key and I'm going down with my arrow key to F number one. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, so let's continue to go down to F number one. F number one. F number one on here is, is a snare. Is it like a little hi-hat? But if you notice, I don't have an external instrument there. So I just add the external instrument. And then I pick drum rack again. And I can leave it on three, four, that's fine. But if you want to track it out, you can change the different track numbers. So I got, I'm hitting on the push pads now. And as you can see, they're all in order. They're at the bottom. All right. Now I'm going to do one more. Again, I left off at D1. When I hit this, I see D1. I go one more up. D number one. I use the picture of the note mapping from the MPC. And I see I'm at A number four. So I hit play, click play, get the little box on there, and then I go to A number four. So I want to go up to A number four. Right there. All right, so I'm there. But there's nothing here where it says drag instrument or sample. Go to external instrument, drag it, bam. Now I have it. Now I just need to click this to drum rack, hit my pad, and I have it. You can do that for all 16 pads, and you'll have, and then once you have all 16 pads, click right at the very top where it says drum rack, right click your mouse and select group. 
once you select group go to save here and then you can save it and I'm just gonna put test enter all right you can do that for all 16 pads you can do it for all the pads if you want to it's just and just for this show it again load it the MPC software load it pad one two three four five six seven eight and then on my drum rack I have them color keyed and everything I'm just move this there it is guys I hope this is helpful there's a ton of other ways you can use this um, Again, I don't make these, I make these videos to be helpful, but mostly for me because my memory is not what it used to be. Thank you for watching and enjoy.